When this book falls apart, its contents will be lost forever. Like this chapter that specifically targets people based on their... Oh. Oh no. There's three ways we could digitize this book, all with their own drawbacks. And it looks like it's another three-way tie for last. Assuming that buying a digital version of the book and removing the copy protection is not an option like we did in this video here, you're left with three choices. A fancy office copier machine. All you gotta do is use some power tools to chop off the spine and then feed it into the scanner. But it was my experience that the scanner would jam every 100 to 150 pages. It's not safe with the power tools. It's not cheap to buy one of these machines, but it is probably the most automated way to do it. If picture quality is what you're after, then getting some fancy tool like this could work if you have a really big budget. But if you scale that down to like one to two hundred dollars, you get something like this. But chances are your cell phone probably has a better camera. Which brings us to option number three, a free with paid features app on your phone. I'm talking about V flat, which usually has about a 90 to 95% success rate for me. And while other apps do exist, this one worked the best for me out of the several I tried. It especially does a good job with dealing with erasing fingertips off the page and straightening out curved pages. The eraser in the app is a really neat tool. And also being able to retake specific pages and have it replace the old one in the sequence is an amazing feature. As of recording this video, you can export three books as PDFs for free each month, and then there's also some paid OCR if you want it to actually make the text searchable. This is some really tedious work and it will take hours, but what I've really found this is useful for is taking all the quick start guides and owner's manuals for appliances and other major purchases, and dumping those into the family ubiquity server so we don't have to rummage around 20 drawers to find it when something breaks. I have done House of the Scorpion and The Goal, and I'm really glad I did because I love those books, but had I already discovered getting around Kindle copy protection at the time, I probably would have just paid however much it cost to get it digitally and just let the computer auto screenshot. What are you going to digitize first, and how? Leave a comment down below.